Do we even know what's out there in the ocean? What fish are there? How do you distinguish one species from the next? And are they reproducing at the same rate? Are they in abundance at the same rate? Because if you're not managing the fish that is receptive to their ecology, their biology, to know when they're abundant, you're really compromising sustainability of that fishery. My name is Damien Ouellette. I'm an assistant professor in biology at Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles, and I'm the principal investigator on this National Science Foundation Convergent Accelerator Project. The global challenge is that as the world's population climbs, so does our appetite for seafood. Yet things such as illegal fishing, seafood mislabeling, and our inabilities to trace seafood through the supply chain compromise not just the seafood industry, but also all of food security. The specific challenges are that the seafood industry finds it difficult to verify the identity and origin of seafood in the supply chain. The current technologies we have are limited. They're error prone and can be difficult to track around the world through each point in the supply chain. Over 70% of our seafood is imported from abroad. There's so much coming in from so many different sources is that we need to think of ways of how can we modernize seafood traceability and surveillance. The solution for understanding where seafood comes from is Seafood Tracer. It's a traceability app that allows easy, transparent verification of seafood from the ocean to the plate. So the goal for this work was to start as early as we can, not even on the fishing vessel, but out in the ocean. Next, we can go to the importer, the exporter. As the fish are making their way into the U.S. market, we can go to the processor. We can swab a conveyor belt while all the fish are passing along and check that point. Now we can go all the way to the beginning. We see end-to-end -end species verification using genetics. On top of that, with the emergence of machine learning and artificial intelligence, we can now use something as simple as a cell phone to take a photograph of a fish, of an octopus, and identify it to species level. And so we've developed a tool here to capture and profile the genetic diversity that's out there in the ocean. Something that we can use on the fishing boat, in the restaurant, or out there in the sea to identify the species all the way down from where they're sourced. This is not a problem we can solve within the U.S. alone. Our team has 18 experts in nine different countries around the world. Partners at Tohoku University in Japan, NOAA Fisheries in Washington, D.C., Rhodes University in South Africa, and many more. Bringing in this expertise of computer vision, data management, environmental anthropology, fisheries trade and policy, because together we get to convergent research, this idea where we need multiple disciplines to really address one global challenge.